Hello, my name is Diyuan Gao. I'm a principal technical support engineer in Fusion Middleware Identity Support Team. Today, I'm going to talk about deploying OED and OEDSM containers in a four node Kubernetes cluster with Cryo. The agenda is some prerequisites for the <clears throat> deployment and how to prepare the NFS server or NFS chair, how to get OED, OEDSM images, and how to deploy OED using Helm, how to deploy OEDSM, and how to deploy OEDSM node port service, and also monitor the part, some sample use cases and references. The prerequisite here is like <clears throat> OED 1.4 cluster with four nodes, operator node, control node, worker node one and worker node two. In a real production case, recommended to use multiple control node as HA setup and more worker node. There's a dedicated NFS node for NFS share for the uh, position volumes used by the Kubernetes cluster. The Oracle Linux version included here is Linux 8. Also, OCA 1.4 cluster has a Kubernetes 1.21.6, Flannel 0.14.1. The hardware requirement here, this is very minimum. I successfully deployed the Kubernetes cluster, an OED cluster without any issue. But in the real case, you probably need more. How to prepare the NFS server here? There are three folders need to be created. Each one has, has its own purpose. The first one is OED config PV. Second one is OED PV and OED SM PV. After that, okay, one thing I forgot to mention, those folders need to have a 777 as a permission. After that the folder created, you define export to allow NSF, NFS share for the client. On the NFS client, which include all the OCE node, control node or worker node, you define those NFS mount in the SCFS tab file. The firewall setting for the NFS server is to add NFS as a service to allow NFS share export. For more detail, please visit the link below here to get more about NFS on Linux. To prepare the OED OEDS images, there are three things to do. The first is to download the image binaries. This will be done by downloading the OED OEDS patches. Please follow this documentation, 272-3908.1 to get the latest OED and OEDSM quarterly released patches. After download the, the zip files, you transfer the files to all the worker nodes. On each of the worker nodes, you do two things. One is to the load images, the second is tag the images. To load the images, to load the images you, you do sudo podman load command with the OED or OEDSM tar file at the end. After that, you, you run sudo podman images command to see the OED, OEDSM images. Here is showing here, there are two lines. Then tag the images to allow later a deployment of OED and OEDSM 
in the correct way. Here we're using 12.2.1.4. When we deploy OED or OEDSM, we're using Helm. Helm is included in the OCE window for cluster. But first thing we need to download the template or Helm chart from GitHub with, with this link. You run git clone against this link to download it. After that, a namespace should be created for OEDNS, for OED or OEDSM, we call it OEDNS here. And then two files will be needed for the Helm chart. One is the base.rdiff, which contains a sample LDAP data. The second is the net user .rdiff, which is the extending the schema. We're gonna put those into the OED config posi position volume. There's a special note here. The Helm command or later Kubernetes kubectl command we use is performed under the control node, which has access to Kubernetes cluster. To download, to deploy OED using Helm, we need to create an OED override YAML file. This YAML file can be downloaded from EDG guide, showing on the last page of uh, the presentation. There's a link to down, you can download the OED a sample, OED override YAML file, and then you can modify it. Like, I, like it's showing from the right-hand side, there are red sections. The text is showing red are important which most of the often you can confuse and also can easily make a mistake. Uh, and after server name, as well as the path uh, are very important. Also the images, the image section here, the repository actually where, because we, since we already loaded the image before on the worker nodes, so we can use local host as a repository. The tag we use here is lined up with the tag we use, we tagged in the worker node, 12.2.1.4. For, for image pool policy, we use never. Here is the command to deploy OED Helm chart. You change directory to the uh, Helm chart location. Since we downloaded, remember we downloaded the OED template, and then after that we extracted the template. We're going to get this info, this structure. We go to the uh, future middleware dash Kubernetes slash OED Oracle directory slash Kubernetes slash Helm. From there, we run Helm install command with OED NS as a namespace specifying override YAML file with a release name, you can name anything you want. The chart name is OED-DS-RS. When success, after successfully deploy the, the home chart, we got a status as a deployed, showing down below here in the text field. Deploy OEDSM is similar. We need to create OEDSM over a YAML file and then change the directory to the Oracle Unified Directory SM folder showing here to get the, uh, to get the Helm chart, OEDSM Helm chart and run Helm command install as well, pointing to the uh, values while it's pointing to the OED, uh, of OEDSM override YAML file with OEDSM as release name and OEDSM as hum term name as well. After that, we can deploy OEDS, OEDSM node port service, which can, we can expose OED part on uh, OEDSM part for the external access 
of the OEDSM outside the cluster. For this, we need to create a OED node port.yaml file with a port mapping here showing. The command we use is kubectl create command, which dash f pointing to the OEDSM node port server, node port.yaml file. After that, we can monitor the pod with kubectl get all command. Here on the text field, you can see there are two sections. The first section is the pod. The second section is the services. Some sample uses in this case here, we can monitor OED replication status by running kubectl execution command to execute OED command inside the OED pod. Here we run it from a control, control node. The command, the OED command we use is replication status. The output actually, we can see for DC example, DC is calm. There are two replica zap and running with 30 entries each. Replication status showing normal. To access OEDSM node port service from outside the cluster, we can visit the control node with port mapping 30901 pointing to OEDSM. From there, we can see a GUI of the OEDSM. We can, we, we can use OED pod hostname, for example, OED DSRS0, and it's admin port to access the first OED pod. From here, you can connect to a specific OUD part to do a configuration change, or you can browse and edit the data. Here is a list of references I use for this presentation. This first one is EDG guide. These include OIM, OAM, and OUD. To know more about OCNE, go to the second link. The third one is about Linux NFS. For OED containers, we have GitHub documentation on the fourth link. That is all for today. I hope you like it.